what Manchester United starting a mean might look like for opening fixture of 2024-25 season. Man United have flown to the United States for their preseason tour, which will prepare the players for the new season. There are just 21 days until the new season begins for Manchester United. United welcome Fulham to Old Trafford on August 16th for the opening game of the Premier League campaign and Eric Ten Hag will be hopeful his team starts the season brightly. Ten Hag oversaw an eighth-placed finish in the league last term, and United recorded a minus goal difference, so drastic improvement is required in 2024-25. The summer transfer window is an opportunity to strengthen the squad for the new campaign, and United have signed two players, Joshua Xerxy and Lenny Yoro, so far, but more incomings and outgoings are expected before Fulham's visit to Manchester next month. United want to sign a new midfielder, someone who can play as a number six, and they are open to signing a left back due to Luke Shaw and Tyrell Malasia's poor injury records. Martin Zubimendi and Manuel Ugarte are midfield targets for United, and many believe a replacement must be signed for Casemiro, who succumbed to decline last term. There's interest from United in left-backs Marcos Alonso and Feyenoord's David Hanko and either would be signed as a backup for Shaw, provided the England international stays fit. The squad is bound to be different when the transfer window slams shut on August 30th, but what could Ten Hag starting a synth look like for the opening game of the season? There are still pre-season fixtures and the community shield to play, but it's interesting to ponder the team. Andre Onana will obviously start in goal. He got off to a shaky start on his debut against Wolves last August. He could have conceded a penalty in the opening clash, but grew into his number one role during the season and should improve with those 12 months behind him. Diogo Dalos is a certainty to start at right back, and Lisandro Martinez and Shaw will also be among the first names on the team sheet. Martinez and Shaw spent large parts of last season on the sidelines, and Ten Hag has reiterated how important they are for build-up play as left-footers. Although who starts alongside Martinez in central defense is up for debate, the early expectation is that Yoro will play against Fulham. The 18-year-old was signed in a deal worth 70 million euros, 58.9 million pounds, and Ten Hag, speaking last weekend, said he was bought to play. He's here. We think he can play, but there's so many games to come that he'll be in a group of four or five, said Ten Hag, when asked about whether Yoro could start for United. After just one training session, it's a very mature performance. That's what we saw when we scouted him. It's great to have him. He's a very young, talented center back, and there's a lot to come. Harry Maguire was brilliant for United last season and would be the safe option to start on the opening day. So it's down to Yoro to continue to show his quality in training. In midfield, Kobe Mainu and Bruno Fernandes will start, although who plays alongside them is up for debate because the early signs suggest Casemiro hasn't arrested his decline. By the time of the curtain raiser, United could have signed Ugarte, and it would be a statement from Ten Hag to start a new signing over Casemiro in defensive midfield. The attack of Alejandro Garnacho, Rasmus Hoyland, and Marcus Rashford will pick itself. Those three players demonstrated potential as a trio last season, but there's an outside chance that Ahmad will force his way into the side by delivering strong performances in preseason. Ahmad was the standout performer against Rangers last weekend, and he could start on the right, with Hodgland leading the attack and Garnacho on the left. Dropping Rashford for Ahmad still feels some way off, though, and it would be another big decision from Ten Hag. Xerxy scored 11 goals in Serie A last season, and he's set to play a backup role to Hodgland, so it wouldn't be a surprise to see him introduced from the bench against Fulham. Possible United 18th versus Fulham. Onana, Dalot, Yoro, Martinez, Shaw, Ugarte, Manu, Fernandez, Garnacho, Hodgland, Rashford. On August 16th, Manchester United will kick off their Premier League campaign with an exciting clash against Fulham at Old Trafford. The match marks the beginning of a new season, 
and anticipation is high as fans eagerly await the return of top flight football. Under the guidance of manager Eric Ten Hag, United is looking to build on a promising preseason and start the league campaign with a strong performance. Ten Hag, who has been working diligently to implement his vision for the team, is hopeful that his players will rise to the occasion and deliver a compelling performance. The Dutch manager's approach has focused on blending dynamic attacking play with a solid defensive foundation. Meanwhile, Manchester United want to sign 16-year-old Cheeto Obi Martin. The teenager prodigy who fired 10 past Liverpool's youth team last year and has declined a new Arsenal deal. Arsenal's Cheeto Obi Martin is firmly on Manchester United's radar after the teenage prodigy declined a new contract with the Gunners. Obi Martin, who is Danish but has lived and played in England previously, is best known for netting a whopping 10 goals against Liverpool's youth team last year. The Athletic have reported that Obi Martin is ready to leave Arsenal. Despite being offered a new contract the Premier League runners-up thought was fair, the 16-year-old will be able to leave the Gunners come his 17th birthday on November 29th, and it appears that the Red Devils are set to pounce on the opportunity to sign the gifted youngster immediately. Man United are said to be exploring a deal for the Wonder Kid, which would place the 6 if 2 in Danish center forward at the sharp end of United's youth setup and potentially in the mind of first-team coach Eric Ten Hag, should he impress. Obi Martin ended the season scoring 32 goals in the under-18 Premier League last season, eclipsing the single-season record held by Fowler and Belogan. He went on multiple remarkable scoring run for the Gunners youth outfit, trained by former Academy product Jack Wilshire in the 22-23-24 campaign, netting 10 times in a 14-3 win against Liverpool and 7 times in a 9-0 win against Norwich. The forward's startling display in the Norwich thrashing included a 17-minute hat trick, which came only two weeks after he had scored five in a win against West Ham. Obi Martin watched fellow Arsenal Academy player Ethan Nuaneri become the youngest ever Premier League player when he was handed his debut last season in a 3-0 win against Brentford at the age of 15 years, 5 months and 28 days. The 16-year-old has already featured for the youth sides of both Denmark, his country of birth, and England in 2023. He is also eligible to represent Nigeria through his father. The forward currently plays for Denmark, though it is understood that the teenager can still switch allegiance back to England before her turns 18 if he wishes to. Manchester United have set their sights on Cheeto Obi Martin, the 16-year-old prodigy whose dazzling performance against Liverpool's youth team left a lasting impression. The Red Devils, renowned for their keen eye on emerging talent, are eager to secure the promising striker's signature amid growing interest from top clubs. Obi Martin's meteoric rise, highlighted by his incredible 10-goal haul against Liverpool's youth team, has catapulted him into the spotlight of European football. His decision to turn down a new deal with Arsenal has sparked a bidding war among elite clubs, with Manchester United emerging as frontrunners in the race for his services. United's pursuit of Obi Martin reflects their commitment to nurturing young talent and building for the future. The club's renowned academy system, coupled with their track record of developing world-class players, presents an enticing opportunity for the young striker to continue his development at a prestigious club known for its rich footballing tradition. For Obi Martin, a potential move to Manchester United represents a significant career opportunity to further hone his skills under top-tier coaching and competitive environments. The Red Devils' interest underscores their belief in his potential to make a lasting impact on the footballing stage. As negotiations progress, Manchester United's pursuit of Cheeto Obi Martin promises to be a captivating storyline in the footballing world, showcasing the club's ambition to secure top young talent and reinforce their future aspirations. Manchester United's interest in Cheeto Obi Martin has intensified following the teenage prodigy's decision to decline a new contract offer from Arsenal. The talented striker, who has captured attention with his impressive performances and goal-scoring prowess, now finds himself at the center of a transfer tug-of-war between two English giants. 
Obi Martin's emergence as a sought-after prospect stems from his remarkable ability and potential to become a future star in football. His refusal to commit to Arsenal has opened the door for Manchester United, a club renowned for nurturing young talent and providing a pathway to the highest levels of the game. United's pursuit of Obi Martin underscores their commitment to strengthening their youth ranks and securing promising talents for the future. The club's academy system, coupled with their emphasis on player development and competitive opportunities, presents an appealing proposition for the young striker. For Obi Martin, the prospect of joining Manchester United represents a significant career opportunity to continue his development under top-tier coaching and within a club with a rich history of success.